What's up guys, it's Alec here, and we're gonna be showing you five different warm-ups that you can do for your, your bench press routine. And it's not gonna be just your upper body, but a lot of it is actually lower body as well. I'm gonna be explaining why I like to stretch out my lower body and the rest of the video. Guys, here it is, and enjoy. All right, so the first one that we have is called a scorpion stretch. If you watched the other videos before on like your leg day mobility, I have those, I have this stretch, that same stretch in there as well. So this is actually gonna help open up your hips, gonna help open up your chest and your shoulders. So basically you're putting both hands on the floor and you're going side to side, opposite foot to your opposite hand. And it was cool, when I was actually making this video, I, I realized that I usually do them pretty fast. But then as I was demonstrating it for you guys, I was trying to do a little bit slower and I did a few pauses as well. And those pauses actually feel a lot better. So if you guys wanna pause with that as well, try it out and see how that feels. And the second one that we have is gonna be your rotator cuff exercises. So there's a bunch of YouTube videos on this stuff already, but this one I'm just gonna be giving a quick explanation. You guys can check out, check out rotator cuff exercises if you wanna see some stuff more in depth, but here it is. So what I do is I lower the, the lever or wherever, wherever the cable's attached to and make it toward about uh, my elbow height. So as, after I bring it there, I'm gonna switch the weight and I'm gonna make it so it's not too heavy, it's just a light weight. I'm gonna be pulling it in towards me. While I'm pulling it in towards me, I'm making sure my elbows are nice and close to my body, they're not too far out, and not way too close in. So, and I'm making sure my arm doesn't move way too much, my elbow kind of stays in place. After that, I switch it up to the other side, so I get both sides, and then I'll turn it around and switch it over to my other hand, so I work some external rotation, hitting my rear delt there. After I do that, I would braise it up a little bit. So, you know, find a spot that's comfortable for you so where that cable is not like rubbing up against you the whole entire time, but you still get a good stretch as it comes back. So you got your cable on the way back and it's stretching out that shoulder and stretching out your chest and you're bringing it down forward. It's the same thing with all these exercises. You don't want your elbow to be moving around way too much. You want it to just kind of stay in place. And then that way you can really focus on those muscles that you really got to be working on. After that, I go ahead, I turn around, and you can actually see, as I do this exercise, I'm basically pretending like, have you guys ever seen those kung fu movies? It's just like, bah, 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 and you punch people like that. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, you can actually see that muscle firing up uh, on the rear delt, and you can just see it like actually like working. So that's what you wanna do. Same thing, elbows are staying in place for that. You can also do this with bands or and dumbbells too, so just use whatever you have, and if you have access to that stuff, then go for it, you guys, have fun with it. I guess so the next two stretches that we have is actually gonna be stretching your lower body as well. For me, I actually like to stretch out my lower body because you know I like to use my legs as a nice, strong, solid foundation for myself to stay nice and sturdy as I bench press. So I like having that big range of motion, that bigger mobility, because I like to be able to plant my feet, my heels onto the floor, and just push into the floor with leg drive. And that allows me to stay more steady and I can actually focus on just, you know, pushing the weight up as instead of having to balance. So guys, go ahead, try stretching out your legs and see how that feels. The first leg stretch that we're gonna be doing is called the pigeon pose. So if you guys ever see pigeons and you just watch them, like I never really see them do this stretch or anything, but it's called a pigeon pose for a reason, I guess. But anyway, um, you're putting up your leg onto the bench, you're stretching out your glutes, and I feel for me, it opens up my hips a little bit as well. So you can do this however, low you can see you don't even need to have your knee down on the floor but as you get more comfortable you can slowly start getting that knee a little closer to the floor and I like to keep my chest up and my back nice and uh, upright and make sure you guys go ahead and hit both sides so after you do that we're going on to our fourth stretch our fourth little warm-up and that's gonna be called I don't know what this is called but I'm gonna call it a quad and hip stretch so I put my toe up onto the bench and then I just sink my knee down. I take a few little hops forward, you know, to be able to get a nice stretch in my hips. I'm gonna be leaning this forward. Now take a look at where my front foot is. Like it's not too close in, but it's not way too far out. My ankle is about, you know, the same, right, right underneath my knee. So I'm just leaning it over once I get to that position and I'm gonna feel a nice big stretch in my hips and I'm reaching over that opposite leg. That's gonna get a little stretch in your side as well. <laughs> and our last thing 
it's not even a stretch. It's just warming up with the bar. See, now you should be able to feel your legs moving. Uh, you should feel a little bit more mobile. Your chest and shoulders should be a little bit more opened up. So you just gotta bench the, bar, bench the bar or a light amount of weight. I wouldn't just hop into your working sets, but try that out, guys. See how it feels. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and check out other videos that we have on the channel. Guys, have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all on the flip side.